The crypto winter has arrived, without a doubt. Bitcoin is dropping to levels I didn't think would be achievable until much later. Major projects are collapsing, and everyone is terrified. So how can you make it through a crypto winter and bear market? In today's video, you'll find out. Welcome to Cryptique, a channel that gives critical evaluation or analysis, especially in dealing with crypto, everything regarding money, finance, investing, cryptocurrency, and blockchain-related topics including ICOs, NFTs, and yield farming. Please subscribe and share this video. Also, do hit that like button. Bitcoin has officially become bearish. Using the chart from 2017, we have officially fallen all the way back to the old-time high of $20,000, which was reached in December of 2017. The profits from 2021 have been fully erased. The fact that minor capitulation hasn't happened yet is fascinating. Thinking back at the 2018 bear market, Minor capitulation, or also known as a steep drop in harsh rate as miners exited, didn't occur until November of that year, with a hash rate bottom occurring the following month. This was a complete year after Bitcoin's all-time high in 2017 and when it ultimately fell below $3,000. Even with declining prices, the hash rate has been steadily increasing, as evidenced by today's hash rate. Despite this crypto winter and bear cycle, there hasn't been a minor capitulation, which leads me to believe that we haven't yet reached rock bottom. More cold crypto weather is on the way, which means more price volatility. So, how are you going to endure this and what's to arrive? This was a full-on bear market, as I've been claiming since I confirmed. These are unintended benefits. They allow individuals who stay put to acquire prices that people only dream about in a bull market. So, what's my best piece of recommendation in these markets? You must have a source of income and some disposable income in order to begin acquiring at bargain pricing. Now, I'm confident most of you who are watching my videos work, so keep it up. But if that job doesn't provide you enough flexibility to invest, quit, and become a full-time crypto. That was obviously a joke, if you couldn't tell. That's a joke. In actuality, if you need additional money to invest, start a side business that can supplement your income and give you that extra cash. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you should do for a side hustle because there are so many alternatives. You may work as a picker, selling items at yard sales and reselling them online. You may work as a bartender or waitress on the side. Affiliate marketing is something you could learn. However, I would like to discuss the crypto industry's side hustle opportunities. In a bear market, finding coins that crank 100 times is impossible. Coins will fluctuate every day, however. The best time to learn day trading is during a bear market. Profiting from the daily fluctuations in coins, stocks, shares, and precious metals, and more. I'm not a technical analyst, as everyone should know. Fundamental analyst is what I call myself. I am aware, however, that TA has value. It just doesn't suit me, but it could be for you. So where do you go to get your learning? You do not, however, purchase one of those trading courses offered by YouTubers. The greatest information on cryptocurrencies will always be free, is one of my mantras. So, seek for YouTubers who provide free or primarily free content and have an excellent track record of profitable trades during live trading. So once you've done your research on TA and found tactics that you think will work, it's time to put them to the test using fake money before testing them out in the actual world. Most significant exchanges now provide you with this option. Binance has a spot test network. BTSE has an excellent spot test net and Kraken has an excellent futures test net. If you want to trade something other than cryptocurrency, 
Pocket Option offers a demo account that allows you to trade currencies, a few cryptos, commodities, equities, and indices. But, like me, what if the tension of trading isn't for you? There's always the alternative of pursuing the traditional route and becoming a regular farmer. No, not in the traditional sense of raising crops and pertaining to yield farming. Despite being in a bear market, there is still a yield to be generated on crypto assets. Now, I understand that, with the failure of Celsius, many individuals are wary of storing their crypto assets on platforms or even continuing in stable coins. For starters, Celsius was a completely centralized and irresponsible corporation, and there are solid stable coins such as DAI and USDC. And there are still some responsible, decentralized enterprises that offer decent, stable profits. Centrifuge, for example, uses DAI to provide real-world assets in businesses with rapid financing in exchange for a larger payback, which is allocated to token holders. As can be seen, the 30-day APYs are quite high, reaching up to 10.77% for senior, lower-risk investors in the growing consumer loans pool. Clicking into it, however, the junior, higher-risk investors gain roughly 50% APY on their DAI over 90 days for investing in this pool. What about USDC though? They do possess the RWA pool, which was created in partnership with AAVE and allows you to earn yield on USDC as well. And by clicking on it, you may get 2.28% APR on your USDC while also receiving a bonus of CFG rewards worth an additional 10.22% APR. There are other options available as well, but they won't provide you with the same level of incentives. Compound, AAVE, and a few more are available as well as Ethereum Layer 2 choices like Arbitrum and Optimism. I'm not pro former. I just see that there is a chance to make some decent money in a bear market. Browse for channels that focus on yield forming if you want to learn more. Focus entirely on it and conduct some research. But how about having some fun while making some extra cash to invest in the crypto markets at these bargain prices? I'm going to go over it and more. So. If you think this video has clarified some things for you, please consider liking it and clicking that bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you might want to consider subscribing to our channel. It'll really help us out. Back to our video. Now, back to finding new ways to make money in this bear market by simply playing games. Moon Sama Minecraft Carnage is a game in which you seek for resources in the Minecraft environment which may then be converted into Moon River, a cryptocurrency with real value. These events take place every Sunday and last only two hours. And if you're good, you can earn more than this. Over $2,000 each week for only two hours. I gotta admit, it's not a bad crypto side hustle. To play Carnage, you'll need a Moon Sama NFT with a starting price of 2,100 Moon River which is more than $30,000. However, VIP tickets provide another option for playing. As can be seen, they are now selling over 70 Moon River, which is less than $1,000. If you're good, you can make it up in a few sessions of Cornage. So if you're willing to play, learn, and earn, I believe the investment is worthwhile. Finally, during this bear market, there should be another large play to earn game coming out. The game is Colluvium. Which would be the first AAA play to earn title to hit the market. Illuvium, on the other hand, will be the first blockchain-based game to utilize Unreal Engine 5, which was only recently unveiled. A few of the biggest names in the game industry are taking note. Illuvium NFTs will be supported by GameStop's upcoming NFT marketplace, which was also revealed last week. The game is now in private beta, but the public beta is set to start in the next one to three months, allowing everyone to try it out. 
So how are you going to make money using Illuvium? You'll be free to explore the wide overworld of Illuvium, catching and gathering Illuvials, the monsters that live there. This can be quite profitable, particularly if a player captures something uncommon and powerful that can be offered on marketplaces like GameStops. You could also mine and harvest minerals in the world to make in-game things such as armor and weapons, which are also NFTs and could be sold in marketplaces. However, there is also the battle arena, where people can compete to see who is the best hunter and who has the strongest squad of Illuvials. In the Liviathan arena, where bets in Ethereum can be staked on the matches, even by spectators, players can expressly call out other players in ad hoc wagered matches. How much money can be made remains to be seen, but I believe it will be unprecedented in the crypto world. Elevium's shorts can be eaten by Axie Infinity. And with that, this concludes our video. Acquired a lot of knowledge from this, we recommend checking out our other relevant videos from our channel. Also consider sharing this video to any friends or family members who might find it useful. Until next time!